Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, Twisted Paper Studio. How are you? I hope that you are all well. I know it's late. I, I'm getting to our video late today. It is day 52 of the 100 Day Craft Project. I had wanted to get to our video earlier, but I couldn't help it. I'm here now. <laughs> okay, so um, let's get started. It is Twisted Tool Tuesday. I'm kind of not having a game plan as I am, I'm just, I'm just not, I'm having like a, a funk in trying to figure out something to do. <laughs> I really am. So I'm just going to wing it, go with it. We're just going to go with it. I had some thoughts and is getting to the last part of the day and I'm like, oh, I just better just do something. All right, so I have some paper in front of me, some book pages. And I have uh, some of the, you know, things that I've done in the past with collage. I have a few pieces of things here in front of me. They're just like collaged pieces of paper. Um, I have that. I have the book pages. I have some fabric. Um more neutral style fabric, just some neutral things, some laces, some string, some um, old um, pieces of, you know, just old pieces of lace and some hemp. I don't really even know what I'm going to do. I did have an idea. I am just going to go with it. Um, I do have um, a kit that I put in my shop because I'm going to be working with these pieces today. So I have some fussy cut pieces that I have cut out. Um, it is six pages. It's a Victorian scrap kit. And I have, this is page one, page two, page three, um, page four, and page five, and then page six. And they are in my shop, and I'm going to be working with them today. So let's just get started. Um, I really am struggling, you guys, with creativity and coming up with new things for 100 days. It's, you know, I mean, it's not hard, but when I sit and try to think about it, then it gets hard. So I'm just going to play around, if you don't mind. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to play around. So I figured I'd do some fodder at first. Um, just to get my juices flowing. And I have, um, let me see. I have Dr. Mar Dr. Um, Martin's um, ink here. This is um, copper plate gold. And then I also have um, copper. So I'm going to give it a shake here. Let me get a paper towel because I didn't get that. Hold on. And I'm going to um, take my ink and then I'll get a, I'll just, I'm just going to get a scrap piece of paper here because I was playing around before. So let me see. I think I, I had a piece here. Yeah. And I'm just going to take my fussy cut pieces that I cut out. These are the Victorian fussy cut pieces. And um, just play around. I think um, I'm, I think I'll use this copper plate gold. It comes with like a dropper. I'll put the links in my um, in my uh, description for today's video um, if anyone's interested in them. So I'm just going to use a um, a paintbrush like a watercolor brush. And I'm going to just loosely like go around the edge with the ink on the fussy cut in the gold. So it's kind of like, um, like a gold, like gilding or gilded look. 
I figured it would look nice in the books with the gold edging. And then you don't have to use the ink. I'm just, I figured I'd do something different. Um, you could use uh, a pen. You can use paint. You can use gold flakes. I figured I'd do that. Oh, I didn't give my beautiful blessings. I should do that. But, pull this up. So this is how this looks, the piece. Not sure if you could see that. And of course, I missed some of the pieces. You can hold it in your hand. You don't have to hold it down on the paper. It acts like paint. It is ink though. I'm just doing it around the edges. And that's how that looks. I like it. Okay. Let me give out my beautiful blessings. I didn't do that. Um, beautiful blessings to Connie Chandler. Beautiful blessings to Steph B. Beautiful blessings to Gigi Iza. And beautiful blessings to Ginger Urban. Thank you for commenting on my channel so I know you guys are there. I'm going to go ahead and do around this one now. And like I said, you can use the paintbrush. Um, we'll use a pen after this because I could also use the pen. I like the brush. It's smooth. Uh, it's relaxing. I love watercolor. So I don't mind using the brush. You don't have to, though. How is everyone? I hope you're all well. I had a busy day. Very busy day. Let me just stir this up here. I'm trying to get ready for my art show. Um, I did put the link of the pay, uh, you know, on my page on Twisted Paper Studio on Facebook, and um, I will be there on uh, April twentieth in Kempton, Pennsylvania. So I do I do have it on my Facebook. If anyone wants to if anyone's in Pennsylvania and wants to come out, you're more than welcome. So I'm just doing this around the Victorian cut fussy cut pieces. This gold. I like it. I did have some more things for Twisted Tool Tuesday to do, and I will share them with you besides the brush. But that's how it looks. I like it. It is, I could see that I'm having to go over it twice. Before I wasn't, I must have to probably shake it some more. And I also had the brush in water, so it's probably adding to me having to go over it twice because before I didn't have to <laughs> okay we'll put that over to the side and I'm gonna put this in the water so I'll just get rid of it for right now I will show you what the what the um pen looks like and this is the 18 karat gold leaping pen. It looks nice. Let's get another piece of paper here. So these are the tools I'm using today. Um, yeah, you guys, I'm like, <laughs> I'm just tired from, uh, the, from the 100 day craft project. I really am. I am. I'm getting, it's getting to me. I'm getting tired. I What I need to do is film some days in advance of maybe just making some ephemera. What happened here? Just making some ephemera and possibly that will get my juices flowing again. This gold doesn't look right. Hold on. Hold on. 
Let me shake it some. It's looking like it's the end of the paint. You gotta shake it in order to get that right. Unless this one's just old. I'm gonna keep going around. It's not the gold that I that I'm used to. Unless I'm just comparing it to the Oh, well, maybe it just has to dry. Hmm. I'm trying to see if this is a different color. If this isn't, this is the 18 karat gold leafing pen. Let me see. Let me look in here. Hold on. I'm going to check it compared to this one. That might be old. I don't think that's the color it's supposed to be. It looks very brassy to me. You guys shake it. Yeah. See, that's the color it's supposed to be. That must be the bottom of the thing. I probably have to shake it really good. So let's try it again. It's not the color it's supposed to be. This one is the color it's supposed to be. That one's obviously old. I probably just really have to shake it. It comes out very, very gold, you guys. I knew that wasn't the color it was supposed to be. And I'm just going around these fussy cuts here to bring out that gold. To bring out the, um, you know, the era, not the gold, to bring the era out that these came out in. They had like gold, like gilding, or is that what it was called? Gilding. I can't think of the word right now. Gilded. There we go. That's a piece. I got my finger on it. Smart. Smart, Donna. There we go. Move that over here. Yeah, you see the difference between the two golds? That's not the gold it's supposed to be. Mm -mm. We'll just leave it like that, though. Maybe we won't. Yeah. <laughs> This is just something different you can put in your books. Give you a suggestion to do. A little gold in the books is fun. Okay. Let's do this one. I like this one. The Johnny jump up. Because I have a Johnny. I planted Johnny jump ups all over my yard when he was little. <laughs> and these are to add gold to your pages. And then I had another idea to add some gold to your pages. Um, I'm gonna show you it now. So that's, that's using the pen. So we use the pen and then we use, we've used the ink. And then I wanna show you a different way you can add gold to your pages. So you can take any kind of glue and I'm gonna use Fabri-Tac glue for right now because it dries fast. It dries fast, you guys. I'm gonna go around the edges with the glue. Um, I'm just, I'm not gonna try to do it, you know, 
I'm gonna try to do it neat around the edges, neatly, as neat as I can, because I just want the edges. And this glue dries fast, but I mean, I'll have enough time for this. It's a small piece that I'm gluing around the edges. I'll have enough time. So I kind of traced all around the edges of this image. Now I have some gold flakes and this is just a plain old Michaels brand. Um, I think I got it at Michaels in the, where the glitter and stuff is. I got it over there. Um, where's my tweezers? Oh, I just have them. Hold on. What do I do with them? Oh goodness. Here we go. <laughs> I'm gonna take the some gold flakes out with the tweezers and I'm just gonna lay it. Well, well first I'm gonna move this off the paper that I just glued it on. Let me do that first because that's what I should have done. I'll put it on a different piece of paper. And now I'm gonna put this gold flake all over. You can separate it, it separates. So I'm gonna put it all over where I put the um, glue. Just on the edges. And this wasn't, wasn't expensive. It's not real gold. It's, it's not even 18 karat gold. I want to say you could use a Michaels coupon with it. So I'm just going to keep going all around, putting it on this, um, the Fabri-Tac glue because it dries fast. I'll separate this. Sometimes there's clumped together. And if the glue dried, you know, if you're seeing that it dried and you can't put your piece down, you can go ahead and add a little bit more glue. Because I did have to go look for my tweezers and switch out the paper. <laughs> so quite a bit of time has gone by. It's still tacky though, so it's working. And if you're seeing that you put two pieces down, it's okay, try to take, you can just use the next piece on the next piece of glue. It's a lot of fun. It's something different. And this is what they used to do in the old days, you know? They did this in the Book of Hours, um, or in, in the, most of the old Bibles, they, did the first letter of, you know, most pages. Okay. With, with gold, but real gold, you guys. This isn't even real gold, this is fake. Okay, I'm gonna put this back in here because there's lots of pages in there. You get lots, you get lots for your buck. And you know what? I'm not, Concern. It wasn't that expensive. I want to say possibly it was like three dollars and change or four dollars. It wasn't expensive at all. Okay, so now I have all this on here like that. And you can like take it and put it on the pieces that are missing. But this is what it looks like when it comes off and you only have it on the edges. You wait till it's dry and then you go ahead and use your finger to rub off the top excess, what's left, 
and here's some I missed before. And you'll have the gold left on here. So like the gold. And you could even do inside here. You can do the roses. You can do something else. I could have done the moon. You could use a different glue too. Um, there's lots of, you can use the glue that takes longer to dry. Um, you can Google about it. Um, put, you know, Google gold flakes and, and your glue. But I'm using the Fabri-Tac glue. I don't mind it. It's just for my pages and my journals. So I don't mind it whatsoever. And then, um, so now you have these pieces, the gold pen, the gold foil, and then we did the gold ink. So there's lots of different things to use the gold with. And I'm gonna keep this over on the side and let it dry so that it will dry. It's gonna dry fast because it's the, remember, it's the fabric tack glue. So possibly by the end of the video, we can take the rest of the stuff off there. That's another way to add gold to your pages. And here, let's look at adding, let's do this copper. Might as well see copper too. Copper's pretty cool. And then I wanna do some fodder. This is just to give you guys some ideas. And then maybe we might make a few things with what we've, what we've made so far. Um, I'm telling you guys, I'm trying to find my mojo, my inspiration, I really am. I'm trying to find it, so I'm playing around. I'm playing around as if I would, as if we weren't doing the 100 Day Craft Project and I wanted to play in my studio. That's what I'm doing with you all today. Hope you don't mind. Okay, so I have my brush here. I don't want it to be too wet. But now I wanna make some fodder, so. I'm gonna just make some fodder, you guys. We'll use the copper and see what happens. And by fodder, I mean just some marks on the pages with my, I wonder, should I use this brush? Or should I use this brush? Let's see. Maybe I won't use the wet one. I'll use a dry one, see what happens. And I'm just gonna put it down. Oh, we got bubbles. We have bubbles. I'm gonna do it like um, I would watercolor. We have bubbles because I just shook it. I'm certain that they won't dry in there, but this is going to dry and it's going to be shimmery, you guys. I'm wondering how long the ink will take to dry. Um, see the bubbles are already fading and we can do fodder we can do the um, squares of that you would in watercolor to where you do the palette you know the palette square so you can check your color but of course we don't have to check any color here we don't have to and we can also do you know designs on the page whoops like a vine that's what I was trying to do but I lost the brush I lost it You don't have to be a pro. No one says you have to be a pro. You can do whatever you want. We do some vine, just some leaves, maybe just some leaves and some thorns. No reason, no reason why you can't do anything you want. Maybe an arrow. Remember how you used to doodle when you were little? That's all. But you have um, your ink. I'm gonna make this bigger because I messed it up. <laughs> Might as well. 
and you have your your ink is shimmery so it's going to be shimmery in your book you can make um tags with it you can put it in somebody's pocket or in a pocket or just your doodle about your day I think I want to bring this down in a, a spiral like that. There we go. And you can obviously do fun little things like this. Where you do mark making. Let me get more ink. And just no reason. There doesn't have to be a reason. Don't be scared. You don't have to be perfect. And I messed up here, so guess what? I'm just going to cover it in. No one has to know that I messed it up. No one. Don't be scared. Okay, so that's one page. I just wanted to show you, you can just make marks. You, you can just do whatever you want to in your book. You can make a flower if you want. You can go like this and just make a plain old flower for no reason. In gold or in copper. Whatever you want. Just for no reason. There doesn't have to be a reason. And you can put that on a page in your book. You can cover it in. You can put, look, you can put polka dots in the center. I like that. Hmm. You can, you can put swirls. All around. But if you do this, you're just adding pages in your book with gold or shimmer to them. You don't, they, have, they don't have to have any meaning at all. Okay, whoops, that almost fell. So now you have another page and you see the shimmery of it. And um, this is not two pages, right? No, just one. It's just on book page. You can use whatever book page you want. So here, let's take an older book page. Let's do this one. This book page is lit, written in German. I'm wondering, should I do gold? Or let me see. I'm trying to see what color will look. Oh, that color doesn't look bad. Let's use it. And what can we do on here? Well, I don't know. Um, we can draw. We can do these squares again. Maybe we could do them in the in the this color, and then I'll do them down here. I gotta check the time because maybe we can make something now. I don't know what time it is. There, we've done our gold i mean our copper and then let's get let's see what well, i have a paintbrush here for the gold don't oh, say half hour 
maybe I could do a, um, make a little something, a little piece of ephemera for the book. Now I'm just going to take the gold. And of course it's going to have bubbles like I just did. And now I'm going, oh, I'm glad I used the copper first. It's ink, it's not paint. This is Dr. Martin's ink. If I didn't say that, I don't remember. It, the bubbles are gonna go away. It's because I shook it. And you can bring some gold to your pages and copper. And there's more colors too. There's silver. I have a silver pen too. A silver leafing pen. I should go and look at it in my drawer. Hold on one second. Maybe I will. Because then I could see. Maybe we can add the shimmer on things. Let's see. Let me see if this is dry. Yes, because it's ink, you guys. It dries fast. Let's see if we put this on the inside. Pretty. I have to shake this up more. That gold isn't coming through like it should. It looks like it's settled. That's why it's looking like that. And then maybe I'll do this in here. Like that. And then here. So don't be afraid to play with your inks. And if you guys have, you know, my brain isn't there for doodling right now. It's really not. <laughs> but if you guys have better doodling or you want to do more doodling, let me know. I'll practice doodling for you for a day. I haven't doodled in quite some time. I used to doodle and take over a whole page. Um, I used to do that. I just... I haven't doodled in quite some time. And doodling with a brush is different um, than doodling with a pen. It's kind of like painting. But I can tell you that it's fun to use the ink. Um, like a paint. I like the gold and the copper. I do. It's really cool. Now, let me see something. If I could find my silver pen. Do I have it here? I haven't used it in quite some time, so let's see if I can get the bowl going inside of it. over here to dry for a second and I'll use the silver pen on this little and give me one second here I'm gonna get it going again let me shake it up some more I'm gonna close these up here otherwise I'll knock into them and I'll be upset. <laughs> so again, these are Dr. Martin's. I'll put the links in the in the um, description. And maybe maybe I'll use this. So 
since I have it on my brush and I don't want it to go to waste. on here because there's a lot of ink on here so I just want to use it so it doesn't go to waste <clears throat> oh but it is not covering not enough to cover and that's okay which pen was it I think this one Thanks a lot, you guys, for putting up with my just craft with me session. Just a craft with me kind of thing. Explore, play, create. See what it see what it is we can come up with. Cause I'm really at a loss. I kind of am overwhelmed with life right now and things. Okay. silver to come out. It's coming. Hold on. <laughs> we got to check out the silver. That's how you do this. You got to shake it and then you got to hold the, the top down so that the paint runs onto the, to the um, felt on the end, the felt tip. And then we'll make something. After I do this silver thing, we'll use some of these Victorian fussy cuts and we'll, we'll make something. I've been sitting down today. <laughs> if you have, you haven't noticed. There we go. Okay. So we'll just use this silver tip. And it's the same as the gold. It has the sh shine and the shimmer on it. but it's got silver instead. So, what should I name today? Um, I guess maybe adding a little metallic to your pages. A little metallic. And that's in silver. I didn't get my finger on it, did I? I did. Okay, that's the silver one. I will leave it to the side for a moment. So you have your metallic pens, you have your metallic inks, you have paint brushes. I'm gonna put these in the water. And then you have your, um, this is called, this is from Recollections and it is specialty glitter, but it's gold flakes, that's all it is. Gold, gold flakes. All right, so let's see what we can do to make like a little piece of ephemera. If we were, if I was doing something right now for a book, let me see what I would do. I don't even know. You're getting the real me today. This is the real me. No, <laughs> it's the real messed up me. <laughs> it's like, I'm just tired. I can't, um, I don't know. I can't get into today. I had a lot going on and then when I came home, I tried to come up with a game plan and it just wasn't flowing. All right, so let's see. We'll put these little pieces of paper in. Little different pieces of paper. And maybe we'll do this one. These are all different colors. This one is... Uh, um. What's the word? Very brittle. 
that's the word. Very, very brittle. So it will break easy. Okay, so you have a few little pieces of paper. Now what else would I do? Um, oh wait, let me go back to these because there was those here. There was this. Let's get my ruler. There it is. Ruler's right in front of me. Let's do this. And we have that. And we'll do this one. Haha. <laughs> okay. And what else did I have? We'll just do those two for now. I think I had something else over here. Oh. Let's see. I'll do these square ones. See what happens. Because I still don't even know what's going to happen, you guys. You're just getting... You're just hanging out with me in my studio. That's what you're doing today. This isn't a teaching moment. This is just a play moment. A play? Yes, play. We're playing today. Thank you for playing with me. <laughs> my brain needs a break. Okay. There we go. All right, so we have that. Now, what happens if we glued that on that side? So let me get some glue book pages. I'm gonna go ahead and do that first. And glue that on. And I think I'm going to turn it around. So let me just see. So this is the back of that little booklet there. That's the front. Let me see. And then what else did I have? How about, how about we put that on the front? So we have this on the back, this on the front. And glue that on. And I'm not, I don't know if I'll do, maybe I'll do the gold around this. I didn't want to do it before I glued it, so let me see if I could do it after. So we have that on the back, that on the front, and there's this piece here. Let's see if we put, what's this? This, we, we did, I did this one in a book, but let's use a little piece of it now. I'm just going to take a piece like this, cut it, a little piece of something there, and then what if we took like a little piece of gold, maybe, maybe this, instead of the other piece that I cut, we'll just take a piece of this, because I did, I did cut this little piece off, but that doesn't have the gold on it. So I'm thinking I like the gold. Do a piece of that. 
And then what if we did a little bit of the foil piece? Okay, so let's try this here. Um, so we have that together there. Let me put the cap on the glue. Oops, I got glue on my hand. Um, I have a piece of, I have these little paper clips there. Um, how do I want to put that on? Let me look. Well, I could glue it to a piece of like, yeah, how about I do that? I'm going to attach it to a piece of a little piece of like lace stuff. I could do that. Do I want it all on there? Oh. What if I did that? Wait a minute. <laughs> What if I just glue, let me, let me do this first. Let me glue this on the back of here. Oops, sorry, hit the camera, I didn't mean it. Sorry, sorry. I think I'm gonna do it this way. And I'm just gonna put this right down the center. So the piece of paper, I'm gonna have it stay on just by that center glue. So it's not all the way on. Okay, I did that. Now, should I staple it? Maybe I should staple it. Where's my little stapler? I did put the staples back in it, you guys. I did, I did. Um, oh wait, you know what? I won't staple it. Maybe I'll use these little, um, little brads. Where'd they go? Here they are. This way, this way it could be used by others and it doesn't really get ruined. How about that? So if we do that and I poke a hole through the whole thing. Where's my poker? Hmm, bear with me. We'll get there. I'm looking for my little poker tool. I'm going to use an awl. Let's see. I'm going to see if I could use an awl. Maybe that might work. So that I can keep everything. Should I do this across the top? Let me turn this the right way. Hmm. Maybe I'll do that. Do that across the top. Hold on, I'm looking here. What if I tied a little bow? What if I did the... Hmm. I'm wondering, what if I did put holes in there and just tied a little bow? Just make it look pretty. Why not? I'm always worried about if somebody else wants to use something, but you know what? If they want to use it, they'll use it. That's all. And they might just look at it forever and say, it's so pretty. <laughs> so let's do that. Let's put the little grommets in. like this and you might as well YOLO you only live once so we're just playing we're getting our creative juices going that's all I'm liking the Victor uh, the Victorian gold stuff and the I'm liking all that. I really am. So I have... Hold on. I like that here. 
I'm going to close it up. And then we're going to go over here and do it again. And put this in the side. I like it. Whoops, stung in there. And then we're going to put this in this side. Look at that. And now I'm going to take some string, you guys. And I'm just going to, I don't know how much I need, but this is like really old string. And I'm just going to pull this through this way. And then pull this through this way. And then I'm going to tie a bow for no reason. We already have it with the grommets. We don't need the bow, but we're going to get it anyway. <laughs> I need to do it a little bit tighter. My hands are cramping. There we go. We'll do that side and that side. And we'll just pull it down and pull this down. And if you really wanted this more grungy, if you had like this kind of a shoe, a string or whatever, you could put it in coffee. But look, that looks Victorian to me. I can even put a cat down there. We won't want now. Okay, and then you got the back side here too. Look at that. I like it. It's cute. It got my juices moving for the Victorian. Let's do this one and then we'll call it a night. Um, thank you for bearing with me because I really didn't know what I was doing. I didn't. I gotta be honest. <laughs> I was I'm sweating coming to the video. But I don't it didn't come out bad. We did a lot of stuff. We did some fodder, we did some we did some ink, we used some things. I don't always have the answers, you guys. I mean, I do if I planned out the... I'm not going to deny it. I do. I come up with it if I plan out the video. But there was no planning today. I didn't have time. I didn't even have a moment to think about it. And the little time that I did think about it, I didn't come up with an answer. Okay. Okay. I'm going to um, put some glue on here and put that down. Eventually, you come up with something. Eventually. But I had the t not the time today. And that's okay. You're allowed. You're allowed. Okay. And... I did want to do the pen on the other one. Let me get the gold one. I um, just wanted to show you that you can do this on the paper. Oops. It's because I have stuff. Oh, don't mind that. That was a pair of scissors that fell. Um, you can just put this down and around on here. So it's kind of like the gold. You see how the Victorian has the gold on the paper to begin with. I could have taken my time and did a better job than that, but I didn't. Okay. Mm -mm. We're just going to go here. Like that. There we go. And if there was something inside here, like if there was something on the paper that you wanted to do gold, I think I said that before, but like the flower or something that you wanted to do gold, you could. All right, so let's go ahead and do this next one. I'm going to use this one. And hmm, we will, should we do a little kitten on there? Let's do a little kitten on there. Why not? How about the gold kitten? We'll do the one in gold. Okay. 
There we go. We we'll put them right in the middle. Her, him, her. In the middle. And now we'll put this over. Should we put this down? No, we're going to put this over. Well, maybe we'll fold it in half. Maybe we'll only use half. Let's only use half. Let's see if I can get the kitten to show in the front. Cute. And then, what was this? No, maybe, maybe we'll use something different. I don't know what I have here, you guys. Hold on, I gotta get my scissors back out. Oh boy, for somebody who didn't know what they were doing, I sure I certainly did craft with you for an hour, huh? Because I got lost in my crafting. Okay, so we're gonna I'll put this up here like this, like that. Oh, let's check this out, you guys. Because we had this piece, remember? Let's see what this did. So we can kind of get that off there. Let me see if I use this. I don't know. And it's going to make a mess. You need like a little brush to... I don't know. Is this going to ink? No. Okay. Let's brush it off. You gotta get the excess off with like a brush. I don't have a stiff brush. Um, it should be like a little stiff. This is as close as I got right now. And I see that I have to catch some more pieces that didn't get it. You can use your finger too. And we'll get the pieces off. If you do it too rough though, because we did it with um, Fabri-Tac glue, it's only gonna wipe off the glue. So don't do it too rough. And then, if there are pieces that are missing, you can just redo it with the glue. No big deal. Okay. <laughs> and then you have to clean this up. Fun. I'm going to move it over to the side for right this moment. <laughs> I forgot about the cleanup, you guys. I really did. I did that earlier today when I was trying to come up with a game plan. The other piece. I did it earlier. It's too much to clean up. Remember that when you do it, but it is a lot of fun. You know, make yourself an area to do it in. You'll definitely have fun doing it. You don't have to do it on this small of a thing. You could do it on the square pieces is also fun. Maybe I'll just use the other piece that I have for right now because I did do that earlier and it is drier and nothing's gonna come off of it per se. Okay, I'll use this tom another tomorrow. Tomorrow. Let's use this. Let's do this one. Oh, I hope I'm on camera. Oh, yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so I'm going to put this together like that. Keep this little... Maybe I might take one more little sliver off here. And then I'll let you guys go. Because it is getting late and the video is running almost an hour after somebody who didn't know what they were doing now we're running into an hour okay that's a good sign huh I think we figured it out all right I wish I had my um my um what do you call it over here 
Oh yeah, and another thing, be careful with the brush that you use. I did use a brush when I was taking this off the first time and the brush was losing its bristles. So it wasn't very fun because the bristles, it looked like I, it looked like my hair was all over the place, but it wasn't my hair. Hmm. Maybe. Let me see here. I have to bring it down some. Or what if we just use this as the topper? No, I don't like that. Maybe we'll just use that on something else. And I just like this on me. Um, maybe we'll just pin it. this here hmm. voila oh my goodness really you're gonna give me a problem after all this time and we have this too now we have this this let's use the let's just do it glue it. It'll be easier. Quicker and easier. Sorry, I'm all the way back here in the corner. Mm-hmm. Do that there. this Victorian look back here too. See that? And that's the front. And then maybe we'll just take something and no, not that. How about the Johnny jump up? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna attach him with one of those little things down here. That's what I'm gonna do in copper. Why not? I'll do it right in the center of the flower. And I'm going to put him through here. Him. Like I did. <laughs> Johnny, jump up. Is a him. Okay. Well, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for bearing with my creativity because um, I was at a loss for what I was doing today. I really was. But here's some Victorian-inspired scrap put on some book page with some gold. We did the gold foiling. We did the gold ink. We did the gold 18-karat um, gold pen. We even did a silver one. I don't know where that is right now. We did some fodder. Um, let me show you the look how it dried, because it's really cool. And you can put this in a book page, you know, fold it up, put it in a book page, why not? Put it in your pet, put it in your book too, because, oh, here's the silver. And you can put these, you can fodder on things and then put it in your book at a later time. And I love the look of the gold, the copper, and I love the look of the silver. You can also do the silver on there. I have done that before in the past just not with you on camera. Okay, so bye for now, my crafting buddies. I will make sure that the pens are all in my attachments. The Dr. Martins are in there as well. And I don't know if they have gold leafing on it, but I'll find it and see if there is. I didn't buy this on Amazon. I did buy it in Michael's though. Okay, well, bye for now, my crafting buddies. Thank you for joining me. And I will see you guys again tomorrow. Don't forget that I have the Victorian scrap in my shop. It is adorable. Um, they are different images from what, some of them are different images from what I've seen. Um, I have seen, you know, a few of them before, but in different colors. So I hope that there, you can find something that you like, but you can honestly use anything that you would like. You can use any kind of fussy cut item. You do not have to use Victorian scrap. Okay, bye for now, my crafting buddies. I'll see you again tomorrow for day, um, Day 53. Okay. 
बाय